Hey everyone, it's Martin Pickering again and we have a tutorial today about making your own servo connectors. But, didn't we do that already? Well, yeah, we did. Uh, however, I actually just got an email from Powerbox saying, uh, great video Martin, thanks for that, but you missed a bit. <laughs> okay, so, in my previous tutorial I showed you how to use the Powerbox crimping tool but at the same time I was using a normal set of pliers to start off the crimping process so that I could then place the wire into the tool itself. Richard at Powerbox kindly sent me a couple of pictures and a short video showing me how you can do it all with just the crimping tool. So time for an update and show you exactly how to do it with just the one tool. Here you go. Okay, so first thing, we're going to get rid of the connector that we put on the first time. Okay, so like last time we have our three wires, our little crimping piece, and this time we're only going to use the crimping tool. We're actually going to hold the crimping part with the crimping tool and then put the wire into it rather than the other way around. So, a little crimping piece, put it in the slot, and we need it to go one, two, three. Okay, that's now holding that in place. Okay, so I can move that about, it's actually nicely secure. We now just need to put the wire through there. Check on the other side that the distance is right. Go one, two, three, four, all the way to the end and release. And with that we should have one perfectly crimped wire in no time. Easy. Okay guys, and there you have it, the even easier way to make your own servo extension leads with the crimping tools. So, sorry about the mix-up, don't unsubscribe because of the last video, subscribe because of this one. We all learned something, hopefully you did, I know I did, I didn't know how to do it just these before, so it's a win-win. Subscribe, like, thanks for watching.